you cannot have prosperity without efficiency. You'd have to create an efficient way for people to do things. A lot of the agricultural problems that are faced by poor farmers in developing countries could be solved by simple machinery now gathering dust in farm museums in Nebraska. Jock Brandes was a professional at inventing efficient ways to solve complicated problems while working as a lighting director in the film industry. But the death of his wife and a trip to Africa caused him to change his career path. I was in Africa just to visit a friend who had a small problem. And I saw women shelling peanuts by hand, literally with bloody fingers. And they were working very hard. Peanuts were such a great crop for them. It was a great way to make money. But they needed some simple machine that they could shell these peanuts. I went home, I looked everywhere, and basically this machine didn't exist. The whole thing is going up and down. But you know, if you work in the movie business, if someone says, can you make this, can you do this? The answer is always yes. And then you try to figure out how to do it. So I thought, well, I'll just invent this thing. Time to do these by hand. Jock's invention, the universal nut sheller, was built for just $28 and is revolutionizing farming in developing countries by cutting down on labor and keeping more money in farmers' hands. We don't make machinery here in Senado. We make mini factories or we make prototypes for people to copy. So this is a factory in a box. This is the outer mold. They arrive at the other end, they open it up, and there's their factory. So anyone in 10,000 places could look at this and walk back to his metal working shop and duplicate it with stuff he'd be able to find in a few hours. As the Full Belly Project has grown, Jock has developed an entire workshop complete with tools, machinery, and supplies. Here they brainstorm new ideas, then develop and test prototypes using the most efficient and available components. It's all staffed by volunteers. We normally have a pretty wide range of people. And I assume that everyone coming in has some untapped skill or talent. We have high school kids, we have university kids. They want to do everything there. They want to, they want to get dirty, they want to mix concrete, they want to weld. They want to come up with smart ideas. You put them all together and a lot of serious genius comes as long as you don't set down rules in terms of who can say what and who can try what. When he goes into a village and brings a sheller, shows them what's going on, he's bigger than Elvis. He was raised with the idea that it is his duty to give back. He has empathy with everybody in the world. Jock receives support and encouragement from aid groups, foundations, and even former presidents. There are a lot of people who might think, oh my God, you're in your 60s, you better hurry because you'll be on the front porch of the old folks home by the time you're 75. I don't think so. I don't think along those lines. I'm not starting off in my twilight career. I'm starting off in an entirely other career which can take me as long as any of my previous ones. The Full Belly Project has now placed the shelling machine in 17 countries around the developing world. And soon there will be more. For the extraordinary contributions he's making in his encore career, Jock Brandis wins the 2008 Purpose Prize.